previously on episode 15. Oh, dude, we missed a, kind of a lot along here. And what I need to do is I need to get that John Deere going over there, too. And you can store, like, a, like wheat, corn, and beans in one bin. I didn't know that. Guys, we are in a hurry right now. I said I was going to be over at Craig's place at 8.30. It's 8.45. We're late, brothers. I'm always running late. I always run late for live streams, too. But anyway, so what we got going on is I'm going to, is I'm checking out some of Craig's tractors. He has to sell one of them. And he's going to keep one of them. He doesn't care which one. And I'm looking at buying one. So it's all working out good. We're going to head over to Craig's place quick. If I can make the turn. Okay, hey. This is the video where I don't take out a sign. I finally won't take out a sign, hopefully. Anyways, guys. If you're new and if you subscribe, you're entered to win. You're entered for a chance to win in Xbox One S. Subscribe and you're entered for a chance to win, baby. And guys, dude, if you could like it up. If you guys are enjoying these videos, let me know. By smashing that like button. Okay. So the tractors we're looking at or a john, john deere 78 tenths he's got two of them exact same besides one of them's two wheel drive and one of them's front wheel assist so front four, four wheel drive i uh, you wouldn't technically call it four wheel drive i think it's called like front wheel assist technically speaking so it's just over at his place over here we're gonna go take uh test him out we're gonna go actually drive him down the road i want you guys to tell me which ones we which one we should get i should say what one? Do we get the two-wheel drive or do we get the front-wheel assist? Which one's it going to be? I could get, okay, and it's a 7810, which has 175 horsepower. It's not going to replace a tractor yet, yet speaking. We're going to keep them all around. Maybe I'll sell off a tractor soon. Who knows? Just like right now, it's not going to replace a tractor. I'm just buying this one right now. And then money's all screwed up because I bought some of them just to put them in game. But it'll be back. It'll, money will be back, be back good next video. I just took out a loan to get some more money to buy these. Okay, so, um... 7810 baby not 7800 7810 we'll just park the truck over here craig is actually gone right now two-wheel drive version she's looking pretty fresh she's looking pretty clean i one of the things i like about this is you know you can tell the difference but i like how the tires are the back tires are big and they're towards the back they're like moved towards the rear end of the tractor a lot more compared to the like the 70s or 80s tractors um same with the obviously same with the 7810 besides it's just front wheel assist 7800 isn't the, if how farms work don't they have a 7800 but guys which one should i get okay we're gonna test out the two-wheel drive version first they're literally the exact same year dude we're testing these bad boys out fires right up how many hours does it have 900 is that 900 hours or is that just rpm i don't even know where you tell the hours out on it It should be somewhere up there okay we're gonna drive her 24 mile an hour top speed dude okay okay well i'm just gonna take her down the road i mean what what is the correct test is just kind of just cruising her down the road see how she shifts she's a power shift they're both power shifts so we should be good with that i'm just gonna take her down and obviously they're both kind of gonna drive the same the front wheel assist might be a little i mean two wheel drive version should probably be a little smoother front wheel assist might be a little tougher especially i can't turn as tight compared to the two wheel drive version but we're gonna turn around here and i'm gonna go jump in that front wheel assist let me know i need to know down in the comment section i don't know if we should do okay we'll just do top comment top comment wins it whatever top comment is that's what we're getting two wheel drive front front wheel assist i don't really care i like them both i like them both sweet obviously i chose it down to these two tractors but i like them both that must be charlie i think his dog's name's charlie guys out front must be charlie it's definitely not a docky that's definitely not a docky out front um okay we're gonna get in the front wheel assist one fire this bad boy up. oh i one thing is i guess the front wheel assist does have weights and i could get weights i could add weights to the two-wheel drive version if i wanted if i wanted to see you can't turn as tight at all that's one thing i don't think you can I, I don't think you can yeah yeah okay well here i'll go over here and i'll turn in the exact same place we turned and i should be able to follow the tracks so we'll turn around in the exact same place we turn with two-wheel drive version and we'll see if it'll stay on its tracks or if it'll go wider or what's going to happen okay here we go i can kind of see the tracks okay i'm going to start cranking it now here we go this is where we crank it okay it seemed to actually turn like really good it seems to actually turn like quicker like turn rate seems seemed even better dude oh my gosh wait this one goes okay the other one must have went 25 too 25 mile an hour too i like it these are realistic too um i wonder yeah dude they look good and then i can throw duels on them i can't throw front front duels but i can throw rear duels on them and then if we did get these i'm thinking they'd be a planner tractor for sure or maybe the magnum magnum seems i don't know 
but maybe we'll run the magnum too as a flying tractor what one do we get let me know what one we get anyways guys we got okay after the we got to go harvest some beans we're gonna head over there and we're gonna go harvest some beans quick we gotta switch out the headers we gotta get to work this was just kind of the fun part of the video now it's time to get to work boys okay i'm back here i kind of had all the equipment just sitting out in the yard the combines we gotta change the headers is important they know oh, lucky must be tired from run we'll see if he jumps back on or jumps on the horse and starts running around again um okay we better shut that bad boy off there we go the comments the N96, the most reliable engine in the world. Okay, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna jump in, ooh, okay, so, well, we gotta drop these headers. Now, I don't know where we should drop them exactly. Holy crap, 9610, she's got a cold start. Okay, we're gonna throw, oh, dude, where do we drop these headers? Will we go back in the field? I don't think we'll even make it back to the field over there. But for right now, oh no, I shouldn't be, oh, I should've gotten the gleaner first, because the gleaner header is there first. Man, I gotta find out. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna go right along here. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn to the right over here, and we're gonna just go, like go into the trees right here. Maybe not that far. We'll eventually move these later. I just you can't fit them in any shed right now. Just as of right now, I don't have a shed big enough. But hey, we may be adding a shed soon to the farm. I may begin a new shed. So what we're gonna do now is I guess we gotta get the gleaner now. That's what we gotta do. Okay, I shouldn't have shut that one off. I should have left it run. Why did I just shut it off, dude? And then we got a little blue over there. Wait, there we go. Run the auger over there. Okay, the gleaner, I need to wait for her to fire up. There we go. Okay. Um, we'll drop the header just right over here. Can I I, I gotta back up a little bit? It looks like turn on the beacon. Why not? Why not? As we're moving equipment around. And then lower this. And then oh shoot, I need to use manual attach, man. I need to stop just dropping stuff off. Get out and unattach it. There we go. Sweet. Now it's unattached. Okay. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to use manual attach this time and not actually just do it automatically. Okay. Go right up there. A sweet. Hop out. Attacher. She's attached. Gleaner's ready to go. Gleaner's ready to go. And then I can get the 9610. I'll just do the follow me mod probably going heading over there. But we'll run. Okay. That's running. I don't know why I shut off the 9610, but I did. She sounds good starting up though. It sounds sweet starting up. Okay, hopefully this works. I don't know if this will work manual attach either though. That's what I'm wondering. I think it, uh, it might. There we go. Okay, sweet. Oh, I must have had it lifted all the way. I must have had the header just, yeah, lifted all the way. Okay, we're gonna back up now. And I'm gonna take the 9610 and the grain cart and do the follow me mod. Now, I probably should put the gravity wagons over by that field. I gotta figure out gravity wagons and stuff. Honestly, we probably won't even fill the gravity wagons. We're not yielding good at all on beans. That's one thing we're not doing at all. It's horrible. We're doing a horrible job on yield because I screwed up on the fertilizer. Like it is bad, like real bad. So I'm gonna pull the gleaner up here quick. And I think I'll throw the Magnum on the gravity wagon. So we don't really need the, I don't think we really need the straight truck, you know? It's 9610 falling. It should be. Oh, no, no. 96. What? What? What are you doing? No, no. Our gravity wagon. Holy crap. Control, control, control yourself. Okay. We got to, we got to stop this 9610. She is going crazy. What the heck? Okay. Yeah. That guy, literally the girl driving it is going crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're gonna, maybe we'll have to do the follow me mod with the gleaner. Oh, oh my gosh. I thought I was going to be able to make it through there. I thought I was without him that. I Literally, it's just right down here. I don't even need the follow me mod. Screw it. We don't need the follow me mod even. We're just driving the deer down here quick is what we'll do. And then I got to set cruise control on this thing because it can only, like you guys saw, when I go through these fields, it wants to do 12 mile an hour. So I got to run it at 6 mile an hour just to be realistic because 12 mile an hour flying through the fields is crazy, man. Okay, don't take out that sign. We didn't take out the sign. Are we going to get through these? No. No. Is this the only way in? I could go through the ditch. We got to find another way into the field. Well, there's no way we can fit through there. Man, please have another entrance to this field somewhere like down there. Oh, wait. Right here. No? Shoot, we might have to drive all the way down there again in this field. And the, the nice extent, it kind of goes slow. The gleaner, she'll run at 20 mile an hour coming down here. 9610, she only goes 40 mi 14 mile an hour. Okay, and then I'm going to do a lap around this. I'm going to hire out a worker on both combines. This is the day where we take out the sign. We're going to take out a sign. Can I move and maneuver around it? Oh, we didn't take out a sign just yet. <laughs> Sweet. Can I get in the field over there? No, that's a ditch. 
Man, I wonder if I can get around over here. Otherwise, we're going to have to go through the ditch, and I'm probably going to get stuck. Unless we can climb this big hill over here. I don't know if there's much of a ditch over here. We may be able to climb this. I'm thinking we may be able to climb that bad boy. There's not much of a ditch. Is there any entrance to the field? Maybe over here there is. If not, I'm just going for it. We're going for it. Full Sandy. I think we got to go for it. Because we're not going to fit through that gate over there. But this isn't even like... Okay, this is where we do it. This is where we do it. I got to find... Okay, this is a bad spot. Here we go. Don't get stuck. Oh, look it. 96 and climb, climb, baby. There we go. Sweet. That was good enough. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. Okay. We're going to do the ends quick and then literally just hire out a worker quick. Um, There we go. I'm going to get course play this weekend. We're going to get course play so I can finally do it without... Like, I can finally hire out a worker that will go around the fields. Yeah, thank you guys for helping me and tell me what it is. But I'm going to get course play this weekend. So that way I can hire out a good worker. A good worker that knows the field better. Are we missing some? Oh, I was missing some. Shoot. Am I going to miss some over there? Okay, there we go. Now we're turning back. Sweet. There we go. And then what I'll do is, since I am I pretty much got this end, I'll just run over to the other end. Are th these beans might be yielding better, guys. For some reason, I think these beans, beans are yielding uh, just a little better. Because we're already 6% full. And I don't remember it going up this fast yet. I wish, dude, uh, dude, that'd be sweet. Oh, one thing, dude, hopefully FS19 has this where there's a yield monitor somewhere in the combine. That'd be awesome if there was. Just somewhere around the combine there's a yield monitor. Dude, that'd be sweet. And that way we could look at our yield and actually know like what parts of the field are earning bad yield. And basically tell me that my, my soybeans are crap is what it's gonna tell us right now. Okay. Oh, dude, these soybeans, look at these beans. Oh no, that's just shade. That's just shade. I was like, what? Dude, what happened to these beans? But this game is so realistic that that's just shade on the beans. Dude, This I love this. Okay. Once I get to the end, way down there, we'll hire out a worker. Hey, why not turn on the radio for a little bit? Rock radio? Why not? We always listen to some country. Why not switch up for some rock? I like country, but it's cool to switch up some stuff, stuff too. Okay, there's the piggies. Now, dude, oh, we should check in on those pigs. See how those bad boys are doing. Oh. Okay, why is this health only at 15%? Probably because it's not clean, but still, they have all the food and water they need in the world right now. But maybe it's just because it's not clean. They, I feel like I should be better than that. We got to spread some fertilizer, too. Once winter comes, we'll just spread it on this field out here. There's 4755 sitting down here. Sweet. There we go. Oh, dude. Okay, so one thing I was thinking about doing for another series is we we're going to do cotton. Or we could get some type of Wisconsin map. Not this. Even though we do have Wisconsin on this map, over on the other side of the Mississippi, we're not going to do that. I could do I could do a how farms work setup. I've watched that, the, the guy before, and it's pretty cool. So we could run all the – I think they have a combine just like this. I'm not sure if it's the exact same model, but they have the 7800 tractor i could get an 82 i think it's 8235 is what they have i could get an 8235 and we could run the how farms work uh like series that'd be kind of cool i don't know if you guys watch them at all uh but that'd be, i feel like that'd be kind of cool let me know if you guys want that it would pretty much be like this farm almost to be honest though if you think about it besides we wouldn't have the new home we wouldn't have the case we we'd have to get a 4020 what else would we have to get um a batwing we'd have to get a batwing mower we'd have to get a bobcat skid loader we could do it we could do it i just need to find the perfect map for it but we could do something like that it pretty much be like this map though that's the thing i need a map that's completely different than this and that's why i was thinking cotton cotton would be an awesome series for a farmer okay once i finish this it's time to hire out a worker but this is getting kind of fun i enjoy it i enjoy it right here um, and you know what? They got plenty of room to turn around right here. I didn't even need to cut this off quick. But then we're going to get hired out of worker, and then we get the gleaner on here. Then we're going to grab that grain cart, too. And then the case. There's still a lot to get done. Okay. We're to the end. Now, as long as this field stays, stays somewhat straight, I should be able to do this. Just stay straight, field. And combine. Don't miss. Okay, well, you're off. You're on your own combine. I think it's the lady driving it too again. Hopefully it's not at too bad of an angle. 
hopefully she gets the job done. Okay, well, we're gonna tab over to the Gleaner. Now the Gleaner, I wonder if I could, the Gleaner's, I don't know. She tends to do ri some risky things. I think she might be able to make it through the ditch over here. Or you know what, I could just cut it. Oh, I'm stupid, I'm so stupid. I am so stupid, guys. We could have just cut right through here. I would have been driving my yard a little bit, but we could have just cut right through here and then drove over the potato field that's just harvested and went right through here. I didn't even think about that, dude. Okay, yeah, this works a lot better. I'm gonna shut that radio off, though. Yeah, this works a ton better. And then what I'll do is I kind of want to harvest this myself, but I'll probably just... Oh boy, what am I doing? Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. I don't even know why he turned there. That wouldn't have been good. That would not have been good, brothers. Okay. We're gonna turn this bad boy on, and I think this will work. Maybe I gotta get over a little bit more. Oh, holy crap, you hear it roll. There we go, dude. Oh, she's, she's stalling. She's stalling. She's stalling. No, we're good. We're good. Sweet. There we go. Okay, I don't... Okay, I'm just gonna do this first one. We'll do this first one. We're actually not getting that much in. I guess the header is a lot smaller on the Gleaner, too. But it seems like we're not taking much in. Yeah, the header's definitely a lot smaller than on the Gleaner, it seems like. And I'm just gonna create a, a pass along here quick. And then I should be able to hire out a worker. I don't think that... I think it's gonna take a while for that John Deere to actually get full. Is what's gonna happen. And a lot of you guys said... Oh, okay. Thank God I didn't miss that. A lot of you guys said you guys want the longer videos. So that's what we'll be doing. We'll make it. We'll make them pretty long. I don't know how long this one will be, but we're gonna get 25, 30 minute long fun videos. As long as you guys, as long as you guys like watching them, I'll keep making them. Okay, we're kind of at a bad angle here, but I think this is the time where I can hire out a worker. Hopefully, she runs good. There we go. Okay, grain cart. I know I'm gonna have some type of troubles. Grain cart time. Um, 4760. Jumping her. And bring her over, and then let's let's have the key, the Magnum follow. Why not? Straight truck. She's gone for a little bit now. Now some of you guys, I saw a couple comments, and they were like, "Yeah, the dude, squad, straight truck really shouldn't be pulling those gravity wagons." And so that's what I was kind of thinking. So I'm gonna get the straight truck off of there. We're gonna put the Magnum on her. Um. Oh shoot! Why did I shut that off? I always do that. There we go. Drop the. Oh no! 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 Hook her back up, baby. You gotta do manual attach. There we go. Or what? What I could do is I could throw a little blue, little blue. You think you can haul the gravity wagons? Little blue, come on, little blue. I don't know, guys. I feel like little blue would be pushing it, especially with those gravity wagons loaded. And it's already hooked into the auger. I wanna. I wanna use little blue though. I want to so bad, but I feel like it's just. It's not meant to be. That's that's a lot of weight. One of them. Little blue could easily do that. Two of them? That's pushing it. And I haven't used international in a while. Ah, dude. Do we use little blue? Okay, here we go, little blue. Little blue, you're gonna be chugging along. Okay, dude. I I, I love the international still yet, but we're, we gotta little blue's a new tractor. We gotta use little blue. Even though Tom love this, I'm gonna need little blue back here. Little blue, here we go. Okay, I wanna see this thing pull these fully loaded. It's got 65 horse, guys. It's doable. You just most likely wouldn't use it a ton for this. We're only going like right up there. It's not it's not it shouldn't be too bad. Did it did, did little blue just sink back when I hooked up to that? Okay, no, I thought it did. Um, okay, little blue. Follow me, mod. Can you follow her? Who's driving her? Is that uh, is that Lisa driving her? Lisa, Lisa, Lisa's driving her. Okay, sweet. Or we should we should start naming the hired workers. What? Okay, what should her name be? Because it's usually always a girl that drives it when I hire out a worker. What should that girl's name be? Let me know in the comment section. We'll start naming our hired workers. And then if there's a guy hired worker, oh wait, start the engine. Oh shoot, I keep turning it off. Is what I keep doing. There we go. Is little blue gonna be able to make it? Oh yeah, it gets going, oh <laughs> dude, I love little blue. Okay, we're gonna put the 4760, um, or actually, okay, we'll just pull right here. Yeah, this will work good. Hopefully it makes a turn in here. Is it gonna go sliding? No, it's making the turn, sweet. It's making the turn in here, good. Okay, we'll just put the little blue, we'll just probably pull up right here. I should, I'll park so that little blue will probably stop right along here and this will work good. There we go. We'll be all loading a little blue. 
Stop it. There we go. L leave little blue running. Okay, and now we're gonna go and start. Oh, helper D. Okay, no, that was the helper I stopped. Okay. Um, the gleaner, I don't think it's that full. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. We still have corn in here. Shoot. We still have corn in here. I gotta unload corn. Um, okay. Corn's just gonna go in here for now, is what we'll do. We'll just put corn in here. That'll work good. Or actually, you know what? The pigs need some corn. I know the pigs need some corn. We'll unload the pigs right over here quick. This will work good. There we go. Okay, if this works, man, I hope this works. This should work. I don't know if I'm gonna be right on it, but technically, oh. I think I gotta pull up further. I don't know if this is gonna work, guys. Anything? Anything coming up here? I don't know. Maybe I'm not over it correctly, though. It's not, usually it'll start changing. I just don't think maybe we can get it further away too. That could be it. I don't think that's gonna work. Okay, oh, we gotta get helper C. Okay, I gotta unload this really quick. That must be the John Deere. I think that's the John Deere. Okay, sweet. We gotta we gotta really unload this quick. Um there we go. Now that's gonna work. Okay, it goes on its own too. There we go. And then I shouldn't be uh, well this will easily be enough uh corn to uh feed the pigs. Okay, we're running out there quick. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to hit that. We're going to hit the water tower. We're going to go around here. And then hopefully we can jump right next to... Oh, yeah, okay, we should have... I should be able to. I should be able to real quick. Come on. We can make it. We can make it. Oh, she's filling up, dude. Okay, let's put the, pull the pipe in just so I don't, like, hit it or anything like that. It. Okay, it's only at 80%. I should be able to... I feel like I should be able to. Oh, did it miss a little? It must have missed a little long like here. There we go. Okay, I think we might be... Oh, dude, look at it. The pile on top it just looks so weird. Okay, it'll stop at the end, though, is what it'll do, most likely, too. There we go. Sweet. We're on the beans. I didn't get fully on the go, but we, we caught it a little bit on the go, I guess you could say. And then what I'll do is I'll just go and load that gleaner right away, too. We're going to knock out this field so quick, though. Um, I wonder how long this is going to take. I always like just getting out. Or actually, you can see from the tractor usually. Oh, yeah. There's still a lot left. This might take a while. Yeah, because I think this holds like 12 or 13,000 liters. So this might take a while. But we're getting her done. We're getting her done. Um, it'll probably fill it up like 50% at least. Okay, so on this tractor, we have 4.9 hours. I bet this tractor has the most hours. I would have to guess that this tractor has the most hours. I'm trying to think second place tractor. Magnum. Magnum would probably have the second most hours. So right now we got 4.9 hours, which isn't isn't too bad. She's still draining. Okay, over 50%? Or she's still unloading, I should say. There we go. Okay, sweet. We're going to cut around this. And then I'm going to go grab that gleaner real quick. See if we can catch that gleaner. And then we'll unload into these gravity wagons. Okay, oh shoot. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to wait for it to get back here. We're knocking this out so quick though. Look at the gleaner go, dude. This is awesome having them both go at the same time. Okay, gleaner's getting full. We gotta catch the gleaner quick. And I bet the gleaner, this will probably fill it up. Actually, I'm not sure how much, how full that gleaner actually is. I'm, I'm assuming it's gotta be at 60 or 70%. We'll unload here. The gleaner works a little better when we're unloading though. The pipe goes a little further out. The pipe is a little strange though. It's a little different. Okay, we gotta keep scooching off. There we go. Gleaner unloads so quick though, I love it. Oh dude, this thing is so fast at unloading. Okay, this, I, I wonder if it'll fill the 4760. Oh, are we good? Or am I just off? Okay, I was just off a little bit. No, I think we're unloaded. Sweet. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to go unload into the gravity wagons quick. And I should start selling this stuff. We'll sell all the beans later because the beans, you know, we're going to get a lot of money for the beans. Before we go on this side, a little blue. Will she be able to pull her? Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, no, stop. Oh, dude, I wasn't able to stop in time. Oh, my gosh. 
Okay, I, I parked these at a horrible angle. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on the other side. That way, I don't hit these too bad. Shoot, I I, I thought of that. And I was like, dude, we didn't park them straight. I should have parked them straighter. There we go. Am I close enough? I think we're close enough. Sweet, there we go, dude. You could actually see since we put more beans on one side, it started the the weight of the cart started shifting. Little blue, you down for the challenge? Oh, this is gonna be insane. Hopefully, I don't know, guys. I don't know if she's gonna be able to pull her or not. Is this gonna fill the whole cart up? It's not even gonna fill the whole. I don't even think it'll fill the whole cart up. I think we should be good. Sweet, yeah. Like I said, I don't even know if all these beans will fit in here. Oh no, it did. Okay, we got to keep backing up. Shoot, we got to back up correctly. Keep going back. Keep turning. Now just go right alongside. Gravity wagon. Right there. Sweet. We got her. And then these are just finishing up. But one thing we got to get doing is we got to get disking, dude. I got to get disking. Maybe I could start getting the Magnum going, actually, is what I could be doing right now. We got so much stuff going on right now. But I, I should get the Magnum going is what I should be doing right now. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's tab over and put the duels on the Magnum. And we'll just get that going. Even though once we get the 7810, 70, we could use 7810, too. We got three kind of tractors that can do all sorts of things. It's, it's kind of nice having these type of tractors. Okay, disc is in here. And maybe I should be upgrading to a bigger disc, too. I didn't even think about that. But we're only disking corn. That's what we're doing. Oh, is the disc in the way back? Where is... Oh, disc is in the way back. Shoot. Okay. I'll just get it out and get it ready. Because we got to start doing this. Or we could get a ripper. Oh, we should get a ripper. That's what we should do. Okay. I'm going to back up to the planner. And manual attach this time. There we go. Pull the planner out quick. Now I gotta get that disc out. Oh, we still have some corn in here yet. Um, shoot. Where did I park this thing? Here, I'll pull forward. And then I'll back out of here. I'm not even sure if we're gonna unload those beans yet. Man. Okay. We'll just put her out here. I gotta remember to put her away. Probably won't. Probably will not remember that. Okay, I kind of turned. I turned really bad there. There we go. We got that. Now, I'm going to grab the disc out of here quick. And we're going to get the disc hooked up. And Oh, shoot. What I was going to do is I was going to put duels on the Magnum. That's right. That's what I was going to do. I bet those those uh, combines will collide real soon here. Um, There we go. Sweet. We got the disc hooked up. Oh, wait. Am I going to... Oh, shoot. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit her out of here. Oh, we made it. We made it. We made it. We're free. We're free, brothers. Okay. Now, I'm going to go over here to the shop, and then we're going to quick throw duels on the Magnum, make her look all nice and pretty. Customize. Rear duels. Front weight. 170 horse. Which isn't bad. That's a lot. That's a lot of power. Oh. Okay, now. Okay. it was it, Right when I bought it, it was, on, on, it was disconnected. Sweet. Look at her. Dude, this is a sweet tractor. I think I'm going to use this all fall for discing is what I got to do. Why not? And then we, we should start spreading manure once winter comes too. Is one thing we should really start doing. If we get the 7800 with front wheel assist, that would be perfect. Or we could get the 4760. That would work too for spreading manure. Or even two wheel drive works, but we have a higher chance of getting stuck. Okay. I'm going to put her out by the cornfield. I don't know if I'm going to get started, but I'm just going to drive the Magnum out to the cornfield. Just to, just to kind of pull her up right here. And then hopefully we can get a worker on this eventually. We'll just put it right there. Okay. Combines help her see has completed its task. Oh, sweet. They're done. The only thing is to just finish up right over here. But we're going to do that later. Anyways, guys, this is going to be the end. Hopefully, you did enjoy this video. If you did, go in and get the, hit the video, give the video, give the video a thumbs up. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks, guys.